Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Christmas video. So I'm in the middle of decorating my entire home for Christmas. If you have been watching my decorate for Christmas with me video, we're literally in the middle of filming that. But in the midst of that, I am putting up my trees. This tree, my Blush and Sea Foam Mary's Angel tree, I put up last year. So I will link to that down below. You can go watch the whole, um, I don't know that there's a video, but there's a tutorial post, a vlog post. You can go check it out, see everything that I included on that tree. And then I will link to last year's home tour. You can check out the tree there. It'll be in this year's home tour too, don't worry. But the real star of the show, the star of this video at least, is this tree. So this is a rose gold tree. It's more champagne, I think, but it was classified as rose gold. I love it because it is so sparkly, it is so glam, it is so pretty. But over the years, it has been a bit of a challenge to decorate because a lot of your traditional uh, decorations that would go on a green tree clash with the rose gold that are on this tree. So I've been working <laughs> on my decor for this tree that will actually pop and look fabulous on it. And in that quest, I have made several, several dozens of resin ornaments for this tree over the last three, four years. And this year, I think we have enough to do almost an entire resin tree. <laughs> so we put our base on, we've put all our larger um, filler ornaments, we've put our garland, I've put my pink poinsettia picks, their little clip-ons, which is perfect, so much easier than clips. And now for the start of the show. So I'm going to give you a close-up of all my resin ornaments. First up, we have these acrylic blanks that I did resin on the back of. I will link to this tutorial down below. There are literally five different designs that I show you in this tutorial, including these marble babies. Next is a similar ornament, except instead of an acrylic blank, these are made entirely out of resin. I used a silicone mold to pour a copper ornament blank. I added, of course, crickle, crickle, cricket vinyl to both of these. Next up, these are so cute, round ornaments, and I added flowers from my garden to these. So they are both adorable and sentimental, two for one. Next is a beginner level project that anyone can do, silicone mold, snowflake ornaments. There's three or four different snowflakes that you can pick from and I used several different colors. And a little bit of bling, 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 hummingbird with iridescent flakes. And then I added a bit of acrylic paint to make those lines pop. I will link to all of these tutorials down below, but now that I've amassed quite a few of them, I figured let's just make a whole little resin tree. All right, I'm going to get started putting these all on the tree and then I will give you a close up of how they look at the end. I don't even know which ones are my favorite. And honestly, like, I really like these flower ones. I think maybe, maybe next year I'll have to do like a garden tree because I have been picking up so many fun garden themed kind of ornaments on all my cruises. I'll link to my European cruise list down below because mom and I just went on our trip and the one thing you know we're going to buy in every single port, every single country is an ornament. So I kind of need to do like a cruise themed tree, sea kind of stuff on it. That would be fabulous. Getting distracted. We're going to put all the resin ornaments on this tree, but before I get started, I just want to do my yearly caveat when I'm putting resin ornaments, resin ornaments on a tree that they're resin. That means they're toxic. That's fine for me. I'm not going to put these in my mouth and I have no children or husbands in this home at the moment that are going to put them in their mouths either. But I do have, hey Baba, five dogs <laughs> that will put them in their mouths. If you have children or husbands, hey baby, come here, come, come do the caveat with me. If you have loved ones, loved animals, anything that will put a resin ornament in its mouth and eat it, 
please be very careful. Don't put them on the bottom rungs of your tree where little hands or little paws can get them. I double, triple loop my hooks around the ornaments and the tree so that they cannot be easily pulled off. My dogs are all old enough now that they don't go for them, but I still just don't want to tempt that the ornament might fall off because if he finds one on the floor, he will put it in his mouth, won't you? Yeah, you would. And I don't want that to happen. So if you have someone who might pull them off the tree, maybe just wait on the resin ornaments or put it in a bedroom or an office or somewhere behind a closed door where little hands and little paws cannot reach. So don't want to dissuade you because I love resin, but I just always want to make sure you are safe and your loved ones are safe. That is more important than any ornament, no matter how cute it is. So princess and mommy and slim. <laughs> We're going to get started because otherwise they're all gonna come over for a hug and I don't have time to hug all of you right now. Nope, go lay down. Let's do this. Go ahead, I'm gonna start with my little hummingbird. And these look really pretty in front of lights and I kind of put them more on the edges, but you can see like he is wrapped, wrapped, wrapped around that ornament two, three times. And now I'm going to add him to the tree and I'm going to wrap that hook around so that he is not coming off. He is not falling off. He is not being pulled off. He is on there. Might be overkill, but that's just how I do. So I do buy the extra long hooks for this, that way I have enough, especially with the thicker resin pieces, to go all the way through and wrap it a bunch of times. So. ones have a kind of 3D side where I let the petals come out and coat them in with resin and then a flat side. So I have to decide as I put it on the tree which side I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use the three-dimensional side. I'm going to let this branch go through it. That'd be cute. Yeah, I like it. Main disadvantage here is that they are hella hard to get off the tree. But kind of point.
I love it. I want some more of it. I try so hard. I can't rise above it. That we were filming. They're so pretty. I feel like these would be really cute to do with wedding flowers or flowers from a special dance or a party of some kind. But I like them from my garden too. That's a little special. I was thinking maybe in the future I could do like one or two a year. I have little mementos from every year in my garden. That might be fun. All right. I'm gonna do the copper ones next because they are the darkest. Although I have copper um, snowflakes made with this same testers brand oil-based paint. So those will match, that'll be fun. Puckies for scent. Now, obviously the ones with the actual resin that I use the mold for take a lot more resin than the acrylic ornament blanks that we just poured resin on. These are about 50 milliliters of resin each to make this thickness. You could totally do like 25 milliliters and have thinner discs. I've done that in the past. All right, you get the idea. You get the idea. I've got, I think 16 of these acrylic ornament blanks and they are much easier to add since they have just normal ornaments, ready to roll ornament hooks. So let's add this one and then I'm gonna put y'all on time-lapse for a minute cause otherwise it's gonna be a long video. This one, a little bit more up front because he is one of my favorites. And then once we get all of these with the cute sayings on them, we'll add the hummingbirds and the snowflakes all over. I have quite a few of those um, that I've used the last couple years. You guys can't see because it's the wrong way, but five of the dogs are on the couch. It is so cute. 